I think the current setup what we have in terms of product is is pretty okay. Right. Yeah. What we are missing is an A0 SUV, mm -hmm. yeah, which we are going to um, provide to the market within year 2.0. Right. So um, in the SUV area, I think we need to invest further. Because if you look at the market trends, it's definitely going this direction. Yeah. Um, the A00, which you call it, the very small ones, there is not that's not the area where we want to compete. Because for us, quality, safety and fun to drive is the key. And we do not see a business case in the very small area of the market. Yeah, so also the interest of our customers we are catering to, the, we call them the aspiration middle class people, they go for a slightly bigger vehicles. So Apollo, for instance, is at the moment one of the biggest conquest machines for us. With a 4.99 price point, yeah, we are attracting customers we never attracted. They have suddenly the opportunity to drive a safe one of the safest, and if not the safest car in this um, class, the, definitely the nicest to drive, yeah, and the highest quality car, and that is absolutely enough for us to attract new customers in our brand. Yeah, so I think um, the later on we have to have this A0 SUV because that is kind of the next step for the customers to walk up, and it's a pretend, a really really high gross um, segment. Yeah. I also see, if you ask me personally, a lot of opportunities in the Tiguan area. Okay. We grew last year by 30 percent, 40 percent, yeah, over um, 2017, mm -hmm. and we could have grown e easily by 100 percent if we had more availability in terms of production. Okay. Yeah, so there is really a growing interest in this particular segment. Because mm -hmm. what's going to happen in India, the cars will be going bigger, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely going bigger. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I don't think it will happen in the next three, four years the sub four category but uh, there will be a day when also india will understand to become global you don't need a sub four meter category at the moment i don't see it mm -hmm. if there's no change in government taxation system okay. yeah so it's a substantial advantage for a sub mm -hmm. four meter category yeah okay. but i think the vision of the um, indian government or governments in the past was to create an automotive hub. No, we have today 7% I think of the GDP is uh, um, uh, the automotive business and we want to grow massively further. So to really become global, this sub 4 meter category is stopping it. Because that will prevent a lot, will bring a lot additional product into the market. Yeah, in particular in the small car area. Sure. Yeah? yeah, so for instance, we are having a Polo which is 4 meter 5. Right. In the world, in the world yeah? Yeah. yeah. So we have now to develop a, pro a product only for the Indian market, and that is a lot of cost. Yeah, and the, and there is the business case again a question. Yeah. So if you are clever as a um, as a government, from my point of view, you open this to more than four meters. Yeah, because it's an it's it's not it doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. I understand why they did it at the time. Yeah, um, it gives a lot of support for existing manufacturers in India. Yeah, but from my point of view, if you really want to go, go global and you want to offer to your customers the most, let's say, efficient, safe, quality uh, products in the world, um, this is one step which could um, really enable this. India will be the most diverse uh, business market in the world. Mm -hmm. You will have pure, simple, base mobility, mm -hmm. like an Ola Uber as we're providing. You will have um, mobility, private, individual mobility for customers not wanting to purchase the vehicle anymore. Look, in every industry, it's the case that you are financing, that you are um, uh, not owning stuff anymore. In music, man, in so, India, India, even the, these um, apps are for free. Yeah? Yeah. In Germany, you have to pay for Spotify. Yeah? Yeah, here, everybody gets everything for free. Yeah? So, um, and he's using it, listening to the music and so on. Yeah? And this will more and more come, definitely. Uh, first of all, the technology we already had, um, it's an EU6 basically comparable emission standard. Um, uh, we, we are ready to do that, yeah. Um, but I have also to say frankly, um, the decision uh, to do registrations not beyond 31st of March mm -hmm. also it has an impact for us. 
um, because you are we are still producing all other cars. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think that is a clever solution. To be honest, that's my personal point of view. It's de destroying value for customers, not only for us. It's destroying value, existing value. Yeah. Um, but in principle, the technology we are ready to go for that. All right. Yeah. So that that will be a, a point. We will see price hikes coming. Yeah, definitely. If I was a customer today, um, I would pr purchase a diesel, for instance, today. I would not wait because this will have a major jump in price. Um, Technology-wise, it's not that easy. Um, you will see also manufacturers opting out of smaller cars because yes. it's just simply not affordable for the customer. So if customers want to purchase smaller cars, they should really go now. That's my point of view. Um, I'm not sure whether this is climate conscious completely the right decision because it's it's kind of an ambiguous discussion what we have. No? The, the, the CO2 emission uh, friendliest uh, um, uh, technology at the moment, apart from electrification, is obviously um, the diesel, no? They has the lowest CO2 values, no? Um, uh, also the lowest fuel consumption values, yeah? Um, it is very, it's, it's a very, very interesting discussion what we are having now, but it makes our life as a technology company extremely, extremely difficult. Because you will see that you have to offer everything in a way, yeah? And that is uh, related to a lot of cost. And therefore, you see a lot of uh, manufacturers going for um, partnerships all around the world in order to share the cost and have more economies of scale. Yeah. So, but coming back to Barat Six, um, it will make a difference. It will push the market into petrol much, much further than we have it today, definitely um, heavily, because our market is heavily biased by a small cars. And small cars to have it combined with diesel does not make a lot of sense for the future. Yeah. Um, at least from the cost perspective uh, for customers. No? So we're talking of 1.5 lakh um, additional cost, and this will move the cost uh, up. Today already, we see the trend to petrol, um, in our case, dramatically, yeah, because we are um, catering to uh, mainly the big cities, and there a diesel doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of business case for the customer. Yeah? So these customers say, I'm driving 60 kilometers a day. The on price of 100,000 rupees, 150,000 rupees is not justifying in my life cycle for four to five years to buy a diesel. Um, and that's going to happen in the big cities anyhow. We see more petrol, um, dramatically more petrol at the moment demand. And then with a the higher cost coming in place, we will see this slightly moving out. I wouldn't say there's lack of appetite in the okay. industry. Um, there's lack of, uh, of appetite in the in the demand. That's mm -hmm. the point. Yeah. Um, uh, you see, first of all, governments are pretty strict at the moment with this technology. We have to see the environment. Mm -hmm. There are also reasons, and we've been one of the reasons too. Not by this is in, in discussion. Um, we have to be very honest. Um, so if if the focus would be on CO2, mm -hmm. it's one of the lead technologies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are still developing um, very good uh, diesel technology. Sure. You know? it's, it's really very important. But the problem is that the levels are going down so much that requires so much on top cost. And it's in a value-driven market like India, it's not going to work. Yeah, so in, 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 even in Europe, uh, you see a dramatic falling down. We, we are running as Volkswagen around the world to get more petrol production. Yeah, yeah so everywhere this is uh, happening. Um, which is uh, mainly, from my point of view, driven by in insecurity about the future of this technology. And this is catered, I have to be very honest, by um, governmental dis discussions and restrictions. Because suddenly the, mo the movement went from CO2 to monox. Yeah? Yeah, so that was not the case in the past. Everything was focused on CO2. Now NOx has become also a very important factor. And you, uh, I guess you have also this app where every morning you look in daily what is my API index, yeah, 250 to uh, above, you don't go out. No? Um, so, and that has shifted the focus from, from the governments uh, dramatically. Mm -hmm. yeah? And therefore, the only solutions at the moment, and Volkswagen is heavily walking walk into this direction, is electrification. And that gives us a CO2 emission free area and uh, gives us the perfect solution for that. But therefore, infrastructure is needed. So India is, is a very interesting model at the moment. Yeah? But the difference between saying something, then it has to be a clear plan. Fame 2 has been now announced, okay, is a, is a next step, fine. But still, you, you have to build the infrastructure. 
Yeah. So if you if you if you look at my home country, for instance, yeah, people say we are not ready. Yeah, for the next day, but we have forty thousand charging stations in Germany. Yeah. If you say that country is not ready, what do you say about India? Yeah. So there is a charging station infrastructure coming up. Yeah. And the only thing what the, um, Germany is not doing very much is incentivizing. Yeah, so like the guys do in in Norway, mm -hmm. yeah, for instance, where there is incentivized parking. But by the way, you might have read that Norway is now charging also money. They changed their policy slightly. Yeah, but um, I think electrification is going to be um, surely the the future, and also for India. India has to be clear. What are the steps? What are the standards? What are the uh, subventions across the country in order to come to this point?